Almost seven years ago and before that when my face was covered with eczema and dermatitis, my scalp, my sternum, many parts of my body were just ravished with skin disease. Um, it was really confusing to try to figure out how to cure that. And one of the big things that was the most confusing was what do I use to clean my face? What do I use to wash my face? What do I use to moisturize the dry skin? What do I do about all the constant flaking and dead skin and the itching? Once I figured out what soap to use and once I started using coconut oil as a cleanser and a moisturizer and an antifungal, things start moving in the right direction for me. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys how I use coconut oil as a cleanser to overcome eczema and dermatitis on my face and on my scalp and on my sternum mostly. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm traveling through Nebraska visiting family and I found one of my old cell phones and that's what actually kind of like made me start to want to make this video. And on the cell phone, I found myself covered in dermatitis and eczema and kind of going through the first few processes of using the coconut oil. I'm actually gonna share that video with you guys today so you guys can see kind of like where my dermatitis was, what it looked like, um, and you can see how far everything has come for me. Okay, so it's summertime and hair's looking awesome. And I'm having a bit of a flare up that's kind of going away. And I'm gonna try this coconut oil face cleansing thing that I, I've been experimenting with and I'm just gonna start doing it on a regular basis, but scalp's pretty jacked up. Holes in my ears are hurting. Chin is pretty fucked. And the sternum is a little bad, but not too bad. So those are, and then my hands are just, just wrecked. I have plastic gloves on with this weird treatment, um, aquaphor and some other shit inside of there. Just experimenting. But I'm gonna get to this coconut oil thing. I've done it a couple times and I'm just gonna go through it. Here I go. I'm gonna walk you through the process of everything that I do using the coconut oil to cleanse my face. Um, but first, before I get into that, I wanna give you guys a quick caveat. So the coconut oil will not work perfectly for every single person. It works really great for me. Um, I've worked with over 800 clients over the past six years and it works really good for a majority of people. Um, if you try the coconut oil and it burns too much or it creates more redness or it just doesn't feel right, it leaves you too oily or too dry, it just doesn't work for you, don't get stressed. You can use all the advice and all the kind of tips and tricks in the system in this video with other type of oils. Um, if coconut oil doesn't work for you, I suggest things like jojoba oil, safflower oil, calendula oil. You can even use things like olive oil. Um, there's lots of nice natural oils out there. Find one that works best for you. And if coconut oil isn't your first choice, that's fine. Use the oil that works best with your skin. The reason I like the coconut oil is not only did it help moisturize everything and clean everything, but it also is antifungal, antibacterial, and antimicrobial, which works really, really good for me. So and also what you will see is there's been a couple other um, YouTubers out there talking about eczema and how they don't recommend using coconut oil on the surface of the skin because it spreads dermatitis or because it doesn't work for them. Um, what I would say to that is, is that the evidence that I've seen working with over 800 clients does not suggest that that's the truth. Also, when people are talking about their experiences and you guys are listening to them, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt, including everything that I say. Test it on yourself, be your own judge, experiment with yourself. Um, but when people are talking about their own experience and then giving suggestions just based on their own experience, um, it can be very limited. My suggestions are not only based on what worked well for me and being cured from dermatitis for almost seven years now, but it's mostly what comes from working with the population that has eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis and rosacea. I work day after day. That's all I do full time is I consult with and lead group classes of people who are sick with skin disease. And unequivocally, the coconut oil seems to be really awesome for most people. But like I said, if that's not you, 
Don't worry about it. Use the methods in this video and make it your own and just use the oils that work best for you. All right, so let's get into it. So it's really straightforward. Get your face wet. You can do this either in the shower or in the sink. Get hot water, get your face nice and wet. Get it warm, get some water on it. Then liberally apply the coconut oil to all the parts of your scalp and your face. Um, and you can use this technique for other parts of the body, but for today I'm focusing on the face and the scalp. Um, get that coconut oil everywhere and be very liberal with it. Don't hesitate to use a ton. Um, use as much as you possibly can. Um, then once it's lubricated and all over everything, allow it to just sit there and seep all the way into your, to your skin for about 15 minutes. Um, your skin might feel like it's starting to tighten in places and that's totally cool. Once the 15 minutes is up, simply rinse your face with hot water, then grab some type of thing like Dr. Bronner's and you can actually skip this step. You can skip the step where you use the Dr. Bronner's. Wash your face, use a, um, a nice soft um, cotton towel and you know, wash your face off with that, use that to exfoliate. And then what you can do is wash that off and then reapply the coconut oil one more time liberally to everything. Again, once you've done that, wait 15 minutes and then you should be good to go. Um, what some of you will have to do is after that second round of applying the coconut oil, you'll then have to dab off any excess um, oily spots once you've waited 15 minutes and let it seep in. And that's it. It's really that straightforward and that easy. And you can do that on a daily basis. Now, there's generally two types of skin types and I'll talk about both. Um, first off, people that have drier skin and people who suffer from the constant like flaky, itchy style of eczema and dermatitis, you can do this every single day. And it's totally fine to reapply the coconut oil as many times throughout the day using this kind of process as you wish. The hot water allows the coconut oil to seep deep in and the hot water mixed with the coconut oil will seep the water deep in and kind of hold the moisture in. So it works really well. So that's what to do if you kind of have more of the dry skin. Now, if you have more of the oily skin, you may wanna do this every other day or just as needed. Um, you don't wanna allow too big of a buildup on your face of both just junk and toxins, but also you don't want that dead skin to just keep piling up and piling up and piling up. You wanna gently exfoliate that. So if you have the really oily skin, um, you're gonna to wanna to invest in a dry brush or use a soft cotton towel to exfoliate as much as possible. And you can use whatever oil you need directly onto certain spots. And just because you have the oily skin, um, not everyone will take this advice, but some people will still do great using the coconut oil in that same way as a cleanser um, without the soap part of it in there at all. So you can load your face up with the coconut oil, you can jump in the shower, wash it all off, um, use some uh, you know, soft towels to exfoliate the body parts. While you're still in the hot shower, add more coconut oil onto you, let the water hit you, let it seep in, and when you get out of the shower, um, give yourself 10 to 15 minutes, let it dry, and then any excess oil, just dab off with a towel. Really that simple. In terms of topical treatments, you guys have to remember that the less is more. All of the ads that you see out there on the Instagram and the YouTube um, about these fancy products, about these fancy potions and lotions and creams, they really don't do anything and most of the time all the harsh chemicals and cleansing agents they have mess your skin up even further. So keep it as simple as you possibly can. Keep your grooming and your you know topical treatments as simple as you possibly can. I suggest using coconut oil and a tiny bit of bronzers to use for your full face and your scalp on a regular daily basis. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions or comments about that whole process, um, leave them down below. Um, if you're new to this channel, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, hit the notification bell. If you guys like that video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, quick reminder, our next group class, the Community Group Coaching Course, where we, we spend a lot of time um, just really honing in the three phases of skin disease reversal. We provide for you guys a workbook, there's a group forum, there's weekly lectures. The next class starts January 15th. You can sign up for that at holistichealthactivation.com. Um, we hope to see you guys there. The, the last group class just finished up last week and it was really awesome. Group classes are important for a couple reasons. One is to have a structure and a stable unit of supportive people with you, around you at all times while you heal makes a huge difference. Also, 
most people are very confused about the steps that it takes to actually heal the skin. They know that you've got to eat good and cleanse and move your body, but how do you put that into a system that is a step-by-step -step system that really, really works? That's what we cover in that um, community group course. So if that's something that you're interested in, head over to holistichealthactivation.com. Also, the products that I'm talking about, the coconut oil and all the other cleansing and detox products, you can find those in the link down below at our Amazon store. Um, it's a great story. Everything you need for skin disease reversal is in that. Also, if you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, I do do privates. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's all I do. I work with you guys 24 seven. Um, and if you need help and you're very serious about um, getting your skin health clear, um, you have to be serious though. I, I gotta be honest, over the past six months, I've been turning down a lot of people who are asking to become a client because I don't feel they're serious enough and I don't feel they're ready. When you're ready to commit 100% and when you've hit rock bottom and when you're ready to do whatever it takes to heal your skin, you can heal your skin. And if you'd like my help, hit me up. But if you're not ready, full force, 100%, then, you know, I don't know what to do. Best of luck to you. Namaste. Also, if you guys are looking to get a hold of me on the Instagram, uh, it, there I'm Stuart, Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. That's going to do it today, guys. Much love. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace, and I'm out of here.